breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Alert, Obama's sick welcome gift to Trump uncovered, American lives in danger. When Donald Trump won the 2016 presidential election against all odds, Barack Obama knew the jig was up. His horrendous anti-American legacy would soon be undone. So, he began doing all he could to undermine the incoming Trump administration. Now, many months later, one of Obama's welcome gifts to President Trump has just been discovered, and it will make you furious. American lives are in danger, and here is what you need to know. According to the Washington Examiner, up to 200,000 deportation cases were administratively closed after they went without action under Obama, meaning thousands of illegal aliens, many guilty of violent crimes, have been released back onto American streets. As if that isn't shocking enough, Andrew R. Arthur, a former immigration judge who currently works for the Center for Immigration Studies, says the number may be even greater. Arthur said, I believe that the Obama administration's use of the practice may have cooked the books as it relates to the true number of cases that are pending adjudication before the immigration courts. Obama's actions have created a disorderly situation for judicial processes in the Trump era. When these 200,000 closed cases are added to those still pending court action, the total backlog of cases goes up to 800,000. This is placing an extremely high burden of 2,400 cases on every judge. The situation is exacerbated by the slow pace at which the Senate is confirming Trump's judicial picks. Nevertheless, the president has made a decision to end the Obama-era practice of closing cases that are not a priority, as well as the practice of prioritization. In other words, the Trump administration will not be using the closure of cases as a blanket tactic for mass pardons like Obama did. America is returning to law and order. This is just the latest action Trump has undertaken to fight illegal immigration. Under his Attorney General Jeff Sessions, the Department of Justice has waged war on the leftist forces that seek to undermine our laws. As Washington Times reports, Sessions recently cracked down on sanctuary cities, cutting crime-fighting funds to cities that refuse to cooperate with immigration officials. Per Sessions' new policy, Cities must comply with Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, requests to enter prisons to meet with criminals suspected of being in the country illegally. Prisons must also give Department of Homeland Security DHS, a 48-hour notice when they plan to release an illegal alien. Cities must also honor federal immigration detainers. You would think cooperation with these policies would be a given. Liberals claim they want to prevent the deportation of illegal families, not violent criminals, so why have they for so long blocked ties from accessing thugs locked up in jail? And, why have they thwarted DHS efforts to deport violent offenders who are let out of prison? For some strange reason, Barack Obama openly courted the support of criminals. He let tens of thousands of murderers, gang members, and rapists onto the streets. And, he did it all in the name of diversity. Now, President Trump is in the process of cleaning up Obama's mess. With an obstructionist Congress, it's interesting that they can be bipartisan when it comes to derailing Trump's agenda, it will take time. But, with the support of Americans, the president will make America safe again from the threat of dangerous illegals. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.